configure user and group accounts. Access to Azure resources is controlled through user accounts and identities that are defined in Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory supports group accounts to help you organize user accounts for easier administration. In this module, your company wants to take advantage of the user and group account features in Azure Active Directory. You need to understand the concepts of user accounts and group accounts. You're looking for information about how to create, configure, and manage these accounts. Your organization needs support for bulk configuration of settings, group account organization, and managing accounts across multiple directories. Learning objectives. In this module, you learn how to configure users' accounts and user account properties, create new user accounts, import bulk user accounts with a template, configure group accounts and assignment types, skills measure, the content in the module helps you prepare for exam AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator. The module concepts are covered in Manage Identities and Governance in Azure Manage Azure Active Directory Objects Create Users and Groups Manage User and Group Properties Manage Device Settings Perform Bulk User Updates Manage Guest Accounts Create User Accounts Every user who wants access to Azure resources needs an Azure User Account a user account has all the information required to authenticate the user during the signing process. Azure Active Directory supports three types of user accounts. The types indicate where the user is defined and whether the user is internal or external to your Azure Active Directory organization. Things to know about user accounts. The following table describes the user accounts supported in Azure Active Directory. As you review these options, consider what types of user accounts suit your organization. User Account Description Cloud Identity A user account with a cloud identity is defined only in Azure Active Directory. This type of user account includes administrator accounts and users who are managed as part of your organization. A cloud identity can be for user accounts defined in your Azure Active Directory organization and also for user accounts defined in an external Azure Active Directory instance. When a cloud identity is removed from the primary directory, the user account is deleted. Directory Synchronized Identity User accounts that have a directory synchronized identity are defined in an on-premises Active Directory. A synchronization activity occurs via Azure Active Directory Connect to bring these user accounts into Azure. The source for these accounts is Windows Server Active Directory. Guest User Guest user accounts are defined outside Azure. Examples include user accounts from other cloud providers and Microsoft accounts like an Xbox Live account. The source for guest user accounts is invited user. Guest user accounts are useful when external vendors or contractors need access to your Azure resources. Things to consider when choosing user accounts. Consider where users are defined. Determine where your users are defined. Are all your users defined within your Azure Active Directory organization? Or are some users defined in external Azure Active Directory instances? Do you have users who are external to your organization? It's common for businesses to support two or more account types in their infrastructure. Consider support for external contributors. Allow external contributors to access Azure resources in your organization by supporting the guest user account type. When the external contributor no longer requires access, you can remove the user account and their access privileges. Consider a combination of user accounts. Implement the user account types that enable your organization to satisfy their business requirements. Support directory synchronized identity user accounts for users defined in Windows Server Active Directory. Support cloud identities for users defined in your internal Azure Active Directory structure or for user defined in an external Azure Active Directory instance. Manage user accounts. There are several ways to add cloud identity user accounts in Azure Active Directory. A common approach is by using the Azure portal. User accounts can also be added to Azure Active Directory through Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Microsoft Intune Admin Console, and the Azure CLI. Things to know about cloud identity accounts. Let's review how cloud identity user accounts are defined in Azure Active Directory. Here's an example of the new user page in the Azure portal. The administrator can create a user within the organization or invite a guest user to provide access to organization resources. A new user account must have a display name and an associated user account name. An example display name is Aaron Sawyer Miller and the associated user account name could be asomnil.contoso.com. 
information and settings that describe a user are stored in the user account profile. The profile can have other settings like a user's job title and their contact email address. A user with global administrator or user administrator privileges can preset profile data in user accounts such as the main phone number for the company. Non-admin users can set some of their own profile data, but they can change their display name or account name. Things to consider when managing cloud identity accounts. There are several points to consider about managing user accounts. As you review this list, consider how you can add cloud identity user accounts for your organization. Consider user profile data. Allow users to set their profile information for their accounts as needed. User profile data, including the user's picture, job, and contact information is optional. You can also supply certain profile settings for each user based on your organization's requirements. Consider restore options for deleted accounts. Include restore scenarios in your account management plan. Restore operations for a deleted account are available up to 30 days after an account is removed. After 30 days, a deleted user account can be restored. Consider gathered account data. Collect sign-in and audit log information for user accounts. Azure Active Directory lets you gather this data to help you analyze and improve your infrastructure. Create bulk user accounts. Azure Active Directory supports several bulk operations, including bulk create and delete for user accounts. The most common approach for these operations is to use the Azure portal. Azure PowerShell can be used for bulk upload of user accounts. Things to know about bulk account operations. Let's examine some characteristics of bulk operations in the Azure portal. Here's an example that shows the bulk create user option for new user accounts in Azure Active Directory. Only global administrators or user administrators have privileges to create and delete user accounts in the Azure portal. To complete bulk create or delete operations, the admin fills out a comma separated values template of the data for the user accounts. Bulk operation templates can be downloaded from the Azure Active Directory portal. Bulk lists of user accounts can be downloaded. Things to consider when creating user accounts. Here are some design considerations for creating and deleting user accounts. Think about what user account conventions and processes might be required by your organization. Consider naming conventions. Establish or implement a naming convention for your user accounts. Apply conventions to user account names, display names, and user aliases for consistency across the organization. Conventions for names and aliases can simplify the bulk create process by reducing areas of uniqueness in the CSV file. A convention for usernames could begin with the user's last name followed by a period and end with the user's first name, as in sawyer-miller.aranacontoso.com. Consider using initial passwords. Implement a convention for the initial password of a newly created user. Design a system to notify new users about their passwords in a secure way. You might generate a random password and email it to the new user or their manager. Consider strategies for minimizing errors. View and address any errors by downloading the results file on the bulk operation results page in the Azure portal. The results file contains the reason for each error. An error might be a user account that's already been created or an account that's duplicated. Generally, it's easier to upload and troubleshoot smaller groups of user accounts. Create group accounts. Azure Active Directory allows your organization to define two different types of group accounts. Security groups are used to manage member and computer access to shared resources for a group of users. You can create a security group for a specific security policy and apply the same permissions to all members of a group. Microsoft 365 groups provide collaboration opportunities. Group members have access to a shared mailbox, calendar, files, SharePoint site, and more. Things to know about creating group accounts. Review the following characteristics of group accounts in Azure Active Directory. The following screenshot shows a list of groups in the Azure portal. Use security groups to set permissions for all group members at the same time, rather than adding permissions to each member individually. Add Microsoft 365 groups to enable group access for guest users outside your Azure Active Directory organization. Security groups can be implemented only by an Azure Active Directory administrator. Normal users and Azure Active Directory admins can both use Microsoft 365 groups. 
Things to consider when adding group members. When you add members to a group, there are different ways you can assign member access rights. As you read through these options, consider which groups are needed to support your organization and what access rights should be applied to group members. Access rights, description, assign, add specific users as members of a group where each user can have unique permissions. Dynamic user. Use dynamic membership rules to automatically add and remove group members. When member attributes change, Azure reviews the dynamic group rules for the directory. If the member attributes meet the rule requirements, the member is added to the group. If the member attributes no longer meet the rule requirements, the member is removed. Dynamic device. Apply dynamic group rules to automatically add and remove devices in security groups. When device attributes change, Azure reviews the dynamic group rules for the directory. If the device attributes meet the rule requirements, the device is added to the security group. If the device attributes no longer meet the rule requirements, the device is removed. Create administrative units. As you design your strategy for managing identities and governance in Azure, planning for comprehensive management of your Azure Active Directory infrastructure is critical. It can be useful to restrict administrative scope by using administrative units for your organization. The division of roles and responsibilities is especially helpful for organizations that have many independent divisions. Consider the management tasks for a large university that's composed of several different schools like business, engineering, and medicine. The university has administrative offices, academic buildings, social buildings, and student dormitories for security purposes. Each business office has its own internal network for resources like servers, printers, and fax machines. Each academic building is connected to the university network, so both instructors and students can access their accounts. The network is also available to students and deans in the dormitories and social buildings. Across the university, guest users require access to the internet via the university network. The university has a team of admins who work together to control resource access, manage users, and set policies for the school. Some admins have greater privileges than others depending on the scope of their responsibilities. A central authority is needed to plan, manage, and oversee the complete structure. In this scenario, you can assign administrative units to make it easier to manage the organization. Things to think about administrative units. Consider how a central admin role can use administrative units to support the engineering department in our scenario. Create a role that has administrative permissions for only Azure Active Directory users in the engineering department administrative unit. Create an administrative unit for the engineering department. Populate the administrative unit with only the engineering department students, staff, and resources. Add the engineering department a team to the role, along with its scope. Things to consider when working with administrative units. Think about how you can implement administrative units in your organization. Here are some considerations. Consider management tools. Review your options for managing AUs. You can use the Azure portal, PowerShell CMD Let's and Scripts, or Microsoft Graph. Consider role requirements in the Azure portal. Plan your strategy for administrative units according to role privileges. In the Azure portal, only the global administrator or privileged role administrator users can manage AUs. Consider scope of administrative units. Recognize that the scope of an administrative unit applies only to management permissions. Members and admins of an administrative unit can exercise their default user permissions to browse other users, groups, or resources outside of their administrative unit.